University classes can be hard to navigate. With so many different professors and areas of study, being able to decipher what each class requires can be a lengthy process. But what if at the beginning of each semester your professors gave you a cheat sheet for all of their respective course objectives and expectations? Well, they do. It's your class syllabus, and by using your syllabus to navigate your courses, you'll be able to feel prepared for your lectures and your assignments. When exam season rolls around, you can even use it as a study guide. Greg is an expert in organization. Let's look at how he strategically uses his syllabus to guide his learning throughout the semester. Greg uses his syllabus in two main ways, to prepare for the course and to inform his assignments and tests. Number one, preparing for the course. After his first class, Greg is sure to take a thorough look at his syllabus. First, Greg reads through and highlights the breakdown of his grade. He is sure to note the assignments he knows he is particularly strong at, as well as those he knows will take him more preparation. Next, Greg transfers all due dates and test dates into his agenda. To make sure they don't sneak up on him, he also writes reminders a week prior to when they are to be completed. Note, if you have a calendar application on your phone or computer, be sure to mark due dates there as well. Most applications have a built-in alarm system which can help you remember when assignments need to be handed in. Greg is sure to always carefully read the attendance policy. As many professors vary in their expectations, Greg knows he can avoid losing out on extra marks by being aware of how much of his grade falls under participation. Greg then underlines his professor and TA's office location and hours. That way, if he wants to meet throughout the year, he knows where and when to contact them. Further, if Greg has any specific questions about the syllabus, he is sure to email his professors. He knows that if he is curious about something, chances are that other students are too. Last, Greg reflects on his first impression of his professors and TAs. By doing so, he is better able to judge who he feels would best support his learning throughout the year. Number two, informing assignments and tests. Throughout the semester, Greg revisits his syllabus to evaluate his understanding of the course objectives. By testing his knowledge of the themes of the course, Greg is able to better reflect his professor's expectations when completing assignments. One strategy Greg uses to do this is the stoplight method. He starts by reading the first course objective listed on the syllabus and turning it into a question. Then, without looking at his class materials, Greg tries his best to answer the question and writes down what he knows. When he's done, Greg verifies with his textbook and lecture slides to see if he has the right answer. If he doesn't, he finds and records the right answer, rereads the question, and tries to answer it again. If he does have the right answer, Greg moves on to the next course objective and turns it into a question as well. Greg then continues through all of his course objectives like this until he's covered them all. When Greg finds some concepts particularly challenging, he is sure to reach out to his professor, TA, his peers, or friends that have taken the class before. Note, if you are a visual learner, check out the About section below for a copy of the stoplight method you can print out and peruse. Other strategies Greg uses to make sure he's on the right track, using his syllabus, are turning the titles of his readings into questions and trying to answer them after completing each chapter or article, going through his notes before class and marking down any concepts that are unclear so he can ask about them during class discussions, trying to link the topics of each class's lecture to the course objectives or overall themes of the course. Note. For tips on taking comprehensive class notes, see one of our other videos, Note Taking, A Beginner's Guide. Let's review. 1. Look at your syllabus directly after your first class and note down important dates, the breakdown of your grade, and the due dates of all your assignments. Thoroughly read the attendance policy and where and when your professor's office hours are held. Highlight their email addresses and don't hesitate to send them specific questions. 2. Use the stoplight method throughout the semester to evaluate your understanding of the course objectives. Be sure to contact your teachers or peers with any questions well before an assignment or test. 3. Use your knowledge of course objectives as a study guide and to inform your essays and presentations. Try to think about how your study materials or assignment topics link back to the themes of the course as a whole. Completing all of your work while keeping the course objectives in mind isn't easy, but by using your syllabus to understand the professor's expectations as best as you can, you'll soon be getting the most possible out of all of your university courses, just like Greg.